Hey everybody, it's Everyday Nerdy here, and I am still wearing my Christmas sweater because this is one of my favorite sweaters. So either way, so today we're going to wrap up and finish the hand, and we're going to do, because now that we did all the, the main hinges, you're going to see my copy and paste method. So, first you got to do a sketch that entitles, well, not entitles, has the whole palm, whatever dimensions you want. A hand is subjective, and it's not really, a hand is not subjective, well, it hands whatever size you want it to be. So, and once that is done, we're going to take the, what's it called, the, um, we're going to take the line of the, of the sketch you made and do a pattern. There's an option for pattern, which I'll point up above here somewhere. And in that pattern, you can select all the items. I believe I did edit features for the selection. I can't see. Um, and then you select all the stuff you want to basically duplicate over a pattern. Um, I'm going to do mine over the line that's on the bottom of the palm square that we just did. And then you got four fingers on top. I mean, you can choose to add more or reduce them to whatever you want. Aliens sometimes have like the nice hands like this, whatever. So either way, I'm going to do four. So I'm going to do four following the pattern. I think it makes it, you can do it based on spacing or something else. There's a lot of features in this. You might want to look into it. So, but either way, I did four. So once that is done, you can take the, the pull, you can pull the the faces and have them complete the the palm. Now, now that that is done, the next step is to copy and paste the hinge and the inner hinge for the fingers. And you can copy and paste them to do this part and then this part. And then the next step is to do the, the, the last tippy tips. But I don't know the dimensions of fingers exactly, so I kind of winged it and I just estimated like pinky is the smallest, the ring finger, middle finger, index, and I just did it based off like that, um, my guesstimations on the sizes. So like what I did was I had the first row be the same height, and then the second one's where I adjusted it, and then the third one is where I slightly adjusted it. But this just gets a bit annoying because you got so many bodies, so it's like you gotta keep track of all of them. But you see how much easier it is? You just did like basically almost just two sketches, and those two sketches encompassed the entire hand almost. And then when you wanna adjust the individual sections of the finger, you can just shorten it and whatnot and do all that fun stuff. So, now, see, I'm wrapping up here. So now the next step is the thumb. Oof, which that one was interesting. So the thumb, I did a construct line. You gotta make sure you do it on the correct part. So you wanna do it where the hinges are coming inward, where the hinges can do this, is where I did the construct for the thumb. And I did a plane, and once I did a construct plane, I did a circle. The circle, oh, I don't remember what I put, but it's six millimeters is what I ended up using for the circle. And then I did the offset. So now for this circle, and I did roughly, I think it's one fourth of the circle should be hanging out of the square. And then, so once I do the circle, there's some stuff that I changed later on, which I'll be showing at the end of the video. But at the end, I did the circle the same way the other stuff was done. You do the revolve and the cut. And I think the only thing that I added was Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I took the construct plane and I pushed it down uh, 2.5 mil millimeters. Because I did, I pushed it down so I think it's the circles. There was a math reason for how, why I pushed it how far down. I'll try to remember that by the end of the video. Um, but either way, once the circle's done, you cut it with the revolve and you create the spear with the revolve, include the offset when you're cutting it, and then you can take whatever appendages you want of the fingers, once all that is done, and you're going to copy and paste them. Are these called appendages? I don't think so. Whatever these things are, you take whichever ones you want, and that's gonna be your thumb. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna move it, make sure to include the hinge, because the hinge piece is what, it's what is going to be connecting to the spear to complete your thumb for your hand. 
And like I said, the clearances, you can maybe adjust and increase the clearance size because how I have this one set up really hurt my thumbs after connecting it. I'm gonna have another video of showing how I connected everything and the orientation of the prints because orientation matters to have things fit in um, because of, I don't know exactly why, but there's probably someone who's probably more eloquent, eloquent, who's better at speaking that can explain why and you know, X and Y, Z and all that stuff. So, but yeah, so here I'm doing some fillet stuff and in this fillet things, the, the numbers were not right. So yeah, um, let's wait for this to wrap up so I can show when I do the correct. So here, 2.5 for the construct plane. As you can see, the fillet looks different. So I have one fillet that's the outer ring and I do it 0.75 millimeters. And then that allows, that gives me space for the inner part of where the spear is touching on the edge to do 1.75. So for the fillets, 0.5 was for the outer part where you have it like this. And then for the part that's the corner, you do a separate fillet that is 1.5. The corner gets 1.5. So then you have a round thing all the way. Cause if you don't, if you don't do a fillet for the corner, you get a little bit of an overhang and that always messed up when I was 3D printing it. So when I, when I fillet the actual corner itself and let me do supports, which made it a lot easier and I could 3D print the spear part without the, the overhang being a problem cause it was making it harder for the spear to fit. So that's how I fixed that problem. So, and yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.